Greetings, gentle viewers. Forget the introduction. We're going to jump right in. But first, what we think happened is that someone draped Lady Kira's robe over the statue and Abbott and me, in a most unorthodox manner, charged the attacker and got stabbed by the statue. Right, the giant horn of the statue that has blood all over it. Or so we think, in any case, we've just established that nobody was where anybody else thought. So there! Everything we know is wrong, but what we don't know is wrong is... Wait a minute. We're the bittersweet gamers? That didn't quite come out right. Does that mean we're not the bittersweet gamers? I guess I'm not. We squared. I'm pretty sure I'm the opinionator, though. I don't uh, know. I guess it'll come up later in the trial. I guess you have a point there. Whatever point you were making! You lawyers are an absurd breed. It's a class. Never thinking ahead, you cling to the first insignificant contradiction you can muster. Uh, now hold on a minute! Big things are built of little things. You gotta start small before you get up to something big. Yeah, Phoenix! You should have said that! Uh. Sounds like Princess Rafa has a pretty good grasp on what lawyers are all about. Maya! Well, it's true, Nick. I'm not the lawyer. I've been seeing what you've done for years. Oh, Maya, where would I be without your brutally frank commentary right now? Still in jail, maybe. Probably. Is this contradiction really meaningless? This was the contradiction of where... Yeah, of, of, at of what where, time? No, oh. the what time has not come up right, yet. Right, right, right. The, the thing was, is we're saying that the that the figure in the robes was in the water and Abbott and me ran into the water. Yes. That's what we just established yes. at the end of the last episode. Before long, you'll you'll probably have, wo have woven into some, like, <laughs> grand tale, none of which has any basis in fact. But something really doesn't feel right. Did I take a wrong turn somewhere? No, it had to have happened during a different time yeah. than they say it happened. Huh. I will now amend my insight to account for this new truth. And tried to fight her off by the poolside lantern. Now the contradiction is no more. There, are you happy? But the truth of the matter still stands, no matter how stubbornly you deny it. What do you have to say for yourself now, Mr. Wright? That could only have happened in a different part of the trial. The water right. See, look at the court record. And uh, what, what, what Damon said. Who's Damon? Your Majesty, this lawyer may have raised a trivial objection, but her benevolence's insights have no further inadequacies of any kind. Yes, so it would seem. Wait a second! But there is another contradiction! <sighs> Who keeps letting these butterflies in here? Still, you flounder about, wretched beast. Though you rack that putrid brain of yours, nothing worthwhile will come of it. Maya, please tell me you remember something that might help us out here. Sorry, I really don't remember a thing. But now that the place I was standing in has changed, who knows? Maybe if you look at the court record, you might figure it out. I get the Im implication you want me to look at the court record, Damon. I'm just saying, since you seem to have forgotten the entire case, maybe you should look at it. What? Next is the rite of water in which the priestess enters the spring dressed as Lady Kira. And the high priest, blah, blah, blah. Purifies both Kira and her dagger. I don't know about you, but this sure looks to me like Abbott and me going forward to purify the dagger. Well, you know, I get that the robe is on the, uh -huh, uh -huh. the You're statue, right. but we haven't established that yet. I just, that's but I've also noticed something we've been oh, forgetting, no. Damon. Here we go. Now what? There's curtains on either side. How could wind have been blowing the fire? I'll be darned. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, that's not what we're at right now. Right, oh, but that's but... something to keep in mind. That alone may cause a new discrepancy with Princess Rafa's insights. You got that, player? That's right. We now know that Maya was standing in the spring. A major change like that could very well produce a contradiction. I should take another look at the inner sanctum diagram in the court record. Except that we just did. And confirm where Maya and Abbott and me were standing. 
but the wind! And then discrepancies between positions and the insights. Well, you know, you got about a 30% chance. No, you're absolutely right about that curtain. I guess it's also possible that you were wrong about the statue, but... Maybe, maybe. But come on! It just looks too suspicious. Especially looking at the scene. Tried to fight her off by the Springside Lantern. Because remember, the thing that changed was Springside Lantern. Yes. Nothing else changed. This for Statement 4 and Statement 5 are the same. Statement 1 and Statement... like, or, I'm sorry, Statement 4 and 5 are unmistakably true. Statement 1 and Statement 2 did not change, and visually, this seems to be correct, right? Yes. Okay, I mean... so it, and it's like this is Ace Attorney. The one that changed is the one that we focus on. The one that changed is Statement 3. Did he rush the accused? Yes, we've already established that yes, he rushed the accused. Yes, because of his footprints turning... Or his footprint, the bells turning into water. Right. Did it try to fight her off? How can we prove something other than tried to fight her off? By the springside lantern? Isn't That's it weird only... that we have this wind thing and you pointed out the curtain? But the wind is a sound. The sound isn't what the discrepancy is. But this is the only sensation we have. Then it must be the fire moving. Because the wind is a sound, and that's not strange. What's strange is the fire blowing. That's the contradiction here, because there's a giant pavilion around what? everything. Can you really select that, though? It says sight. I mean, isn't that just part of the background? Maybe I'm just too used to widget. Take this! I hit the wrong <laughs> button. I hit the wrong <laughs> button. Take this! Objection! Oh, good. Because, <laughs> because... We just asserted the positions are different, but then that lantern is the one that's broken? I mean, that's what we were saying about the wind! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Your benevolence! I found a new contradiction, because that's my specialty. You... you did? I know it breaks your heart. <laughs> no doubt it is but another of your vile attempts to slander my insights. Nope. Take a good look at what the victim saw. It just might change your mind. The lantern flame behind the accused was flickering. So what? There's nothing unusual about that, especially as the wind had stirred. Nope, that's where you're wrong. And I'm right. <laughs> if the accused had been standing in the spring, then what do you see here that should be one of the lanterns, that, what you see here should be one of the lanterns flanking the statue? Well, we already established that he was moving into the water, so I like how we how Wright just made the proposition <laughs> and he's not arguing against the proposition he just made. <laughs> I fail to see your point. Blah, My blah, po broken lanterns, blah, blah. <laughs> My point is, something is wrong here. The two lanterns flanking the statue were both outfitted with glass wind guards. So neither lantern's flame should have been flickering in the wind in the first place. Hmm. Well, that is, I... Huh. She seems pretty tickled, Nick. That's her default state, Maya. I don't remember saying anything funny. I fail to see what you wish to prove here, but very well. I shall refine the vision and reveal the truth for all to see. I know, making you work so hard. I was right the first time, neener, neener, nay, nah. I'm always right. Oh, blessed me, Tama, I beseech you, fix your sight upon the lantern there. I don't know why they don't put this on Kudayanese TV. Right? What, what? That lantern doesn't have a wind guard on it. And rightly so. For the wind guard was removed to reveal the sacred flame within for the right of fire. Well, that just... That's another contradiction! Therefore, there is nothing odd about the flame flickering. Well, maybe it's like that because... Say what? They would do that before the whole ritual. Not during it. Okay. Not like, okay, let's stop to take the flame guard off. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, I mean, sense. we're about to talk about it. But, but when we searched the crime scene, those lanterns had their wind guards on. That's because the police put them back on. 
That's tampering with the crime scene. The sacred flames have burned uninterrupted for hundreds of years, Defense. Do you remember the silly Terry Pratchett gag <laughs> that Damon made some time ago? It is just as he said. Wait. Does that mean it blew out? <laughs> We could not risk them being extinguished, even during an investigation. I think if a wind from up there didn't do it, then you're pretty safe. What about the broken lantern, then? Y yeah. Th that would never fly back home. Well, Bob Ted, are you done quibbling? No. If so, then it is time to bow down before this testimony of the Mitama. <laughs> oh, Arnigukuk. That's a pretty good one. Nick, that was pretty cool, though. Don't worry, Maya. I'm just getting started. Are you gonna still add got another, like, like, day or so, I'm sure. Are you going to add a J and an L and an S or something on the end of that R? Wow, that was good, Nick. Let's go over everything we know so far. I really missed you over the years. So have I. Maya was wearing Lady Kira's robes and standing in the spring. The high priest is thought to have been moving towards her. So I should look for sensations that stand in contradiction to this arrangement. I won't give up. Duh. I'm going to find a contradiction that will undermine the accusation against Maya. What are we looking for now? Well. Oh, they're clearer now. Yeah. So none of the statements changed. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. No, I saw that. I saw it. Just let it go. Okay, Just okay. let the whole thing go. And move on. <laughs> That's the broken one. <laughs> Whoa! There Whoa! we go! Okay! Oh! Now, exactly how we tell them this might be we slightly challenging. On, uh, we gotta focus on the broken one. Didn't he say this time? Well, no, he did say sensation, but sight works. Okay, so he is turning in a circle. So. Yeah! Okay, see, here he is facing south. And he sees the broken lantern, whereas then he turns around. And sees the statue. So he does run towards the statue. So is the, so the problem is the broken lantern or it not being the broken lantern. It's, it's one of those. We, we figured out what it is. But which, which comment? I have no idea. Let's figure this out. This Yeah, one? that's not true. Because. Yeah. No, that is true. Rush the accused. No. Because if this is true, then Maya wasn't standing in the, in the fountain as we ascertained. Ah, so Rush because the Because Maya was standing where she was supposed to be. So this is the wrong one. Yeah, this okay. would be... <laughs> but it's still by the Springside but Lantern. But that's not the Springside Lantern. Maya's not standing near it. No, that's not the Springside Lantern. But when he rushes the accused, he has already turned in a circle. Either it is this lantern right here, which is broken, mm -hmm. or the other lantern which is the springside lantern what has just been revealed is that he spun in a circle now you're right about which comment it's going it to be i think it should be, be this the one. other one because that would prove it's true so it has to be this one probably right okay we're just we're just <laughs> thinking it through just gotta think it through but this lantern though isn't by the spring this lantern is what places maya yeah, I, I I know, but what? But this isn't the right time to say that, is it? Maybe but this is the comment that it's contradicting, maybe, and that's the sensation that contradicts it. Uh, we know what we're trying to prove. We just have to figure out how the game wants us to say it. I mean, I guess we could hit Maya. Let's just let's go ahead and watch it again okay, until we okay. get a better sense of this. So we we either need to pick that oh, we on that need to pick that Maya or the lantern or the other lantern. Well. Let's pick the lantern and see what happens. We know what we're trying to say. Objection. Okay, yes. good, we were right. But we were terrified. <laughs> what could this possibly mean? I it turned in a circle, yo. That lantern clearly contradicts the insight. But this contradiction will overturn the entire case I've been building. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? One minute you shout out, and then in the next, you fall silent. Don't misconstrue this as concern for your well-being or anything, Mr. Wright. Just as a human being to another, I'm genuinely concerned. <laughs> Perhaps it is like the bellow of one who is barreling down a hill with no way of stopping. <laughs> but, but if I'm being quiet, that's not me yelling. Just saying. Is that not right, Prosecutor Saad Mahdi? Hmm. 
Don't get cold feet now, Phoenix. Even if this overturns the entire case you've built so far, the only way is to keep moving forward, because that's where we'll find the truth. And the truth is the goal at the end! Sorry, but I'm not barreling down a hill. Oh, bother, darn. In fact, I'm in full control of everything with the indisputable contradiction I've found that goes against my earlier theory. <laughs> Just ignore that, though. Is that so? The lantern behind the accused clearly, no, blatantly contradicts your insight. <laughs> Does it now? One of the lanterns on the entrance side of the intersectum was broken. And if you watch what Abbot Inmi saw in his final moments, you will notice that the lantern behind the praying form of Miss Faye is broken. The lantern behind Lady Kira, however, is still intact. In short, we are seeing two different lanterns in this seance vision. How could this be? And even if it were so, how would that contradict my insights? I can't be wrong. Again. Let me start by saying, the claim I'm about to raise will overturn the case I've built thus far. It's still true, though. That's the important part. Will the defense please explain himself? I will if you stop interrupting me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Based on the broken lantern, we can tell... This. Yeah. They can't see the mouse. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Where the accused and the victim were standing. But did you not just finish asserting that the accused was standing somewhere else? I did, and I built my argument on that faulty premise. And I apologize. Well, it wasn't entirely wrong because it led to this. Yeah, but thankfully, just like David said, it has led us here. No problem, Phoenix to the actual spot where Maya Fey was standing. And so she couldn't have stabbed him. And on top of that, that really looks like the statue, having seen it a trillion times And even before point. we established that, that's saying someone else was there. Yeah. I must say, if the defense keeps changing its assertions, that's assertions in such a capricious manner, <laughs> I'll need new glasses. <laughs> its credibility may come into question. I'm willing to take that risk, Your Majesty, because I believe this will be the last time. I hope. <laughs> I'd like to start by pointing out the actual spot where the accused was standing. Very well. Show us where you now believe the accused was actually standing. I mean... <laughs> that, that, I mean, it, 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 she's over here. I mean, she had to have been, like, right here. That might be a little far down, but we'll see how, how much they care about it. I wasn't thinking straight before, but now it's all falling into place, eh? Eh, guys? Guys? Paratrooper? We know the victim had stepped into the spring. I will drop you on a horny statue. That's falling into place, all right. That means Maya Fey had to have been standing in the water as he approached. However, his memory, which has now only now become clear, reveals that Miss Fey was standing by the side of the broken lantern. In other words... Yeah, we're talking about two different uh, yeah. people is the kind right of, word, but... She was standing where she was supposed to be, according to custom. Does that not bring us back to the very beginning? No. Try to follow along, kid. This is where things take a different turn, and I mean that literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The victim had to have been moving toward the spring. We've, we've established that. That means that while he was moving, he had his back turned towards the accused. And he wasn't stabbed in the back! What's this? Do you mean to say the victim turned around during the right? But such an image appears nowhere in the seance vision. I know! It's like his vision was obscured by something large and covered in woods. Who was that? that? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it does appear. It's just that no one noticed until now because we, it wasn't clear. We had to refine it. No one noticed? How could no one have noticed something so big? Because, because you, as Phoenix, it's my job to point out the obvious. You know, why don't why don't they just always refine the visions over and over and over and because, over again? Because, Damon, her seances are infallible. There was a moment when the scripture the victim was holding was all we could see. Thanks to that, none of us could tell that he was, in fact, turning around in that moment. He's mastered the art of turning without his bells jingling. Yeah! 
If it is as the defense asserts, then her benevolence's insights no longer make sense. Yeah, welcome to the party. How do you intend to explain that? Because she's a frickin' child. I don't need to explain anything, because it's just as you said, Prosecutor Sadmati. Her benevolence's insights don't make any sense because they contain a huge error. Such insolence. How embarrassing, again. A huge error, you say? Do explain, because I actually care about justice. A huge error is... The number of people there. That's what I was going to that say. That would have to be it. Because nothing because, else. Because, yeah, it's like the thing is, is he's turning and he's facing a different quote-unquote person. Well, yeah, I mean. I believe this is what happened at the scene of the crime. The victim was reading a sutra when suddenly he sensed someone behind him. He immediately looked back to see someone dressed as Lady Kira standing there. Do you like how the icon's slightly further up? Yeah. Wishing to see who it was, he approached the rogue figure while flailing his hands wildly. Well, we're just sort of right. That's when he was stabbed. This cannot be! Oh, but it can. And it is. The insight stating the accused stabbed, stabbed the victim is wrong! And that is the real truth lying behind this testimony of the dead. B oh. 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 Bukuka! My reputation flushed in oh. the toilet! Are you suggesting that for the last 30 years we've been making a sham of justice? That there was someone else at the scene of the crime? Have I misunderstood the voice of the Mitama yet again? Th this... this cannot be! Wow, that was a pretty long fall. Yeah, she like floated in the air. Whew, that was a close one. But I managed to divine the true meaning behind the seance vision somehow. Eh? Eh? Divine? Sad guys? Sadmati has been pretty quiet, hasn't he? Well, what can he say? So far. I should add these new facts to the court record. Whew! <laughs> Your benevolence. Please allow me to take it from here. I will overturn the brash accusations of this faithless, putrid-minded lawyer. Ah, he must have been letting Rafa. Like, letting her take care of it. That's why he's been quiet. Maybe. I mean, sometimes they'll do that for a while. Y yes, I shall place my trust in you. Are you sure about this, Prosecutor Sadmati? My work as an international prosecutor has taken me to courtrooms around the world. And in that time, I have learned to perform last rites for souls in trials lacking a seance. Yes, of course. Forgive my ludicrous inquiry. I know it seems barbaric to hold trials without seances, but... Moreover, I have with me a forensic investigator from overseas. That's about to make this thing a whole lot more awkward. <laughs> I will show you all the most magnificent last rites ever seen. I guess he really does think highly of Emma and her forensic expertise. He should. Well, he's a nice guy, as long as you're not a lawyer. I'm impressed that he's come to understand their value. Then again, he is an international prosecutor who solved tough, tough cases around the world. Time to hunker down, huh? Now then, let us continue with today's proceedings. Could the defense please tell us who the third party dressed as Lady Kira was? Well, <laughs> we're, we're getting to that, sir. I know the answer. Your new claim has negated the insights of the royal priestess. Don't think her father will appreciate that. <laughs> so I trust you have some evidence to support it, correct? Yes, of course. This third party must have really wanted to kill the high priest. I might be able to identify who it was if I had evidence of their murderous intent. What kind of intent? Murderous. Well, we're waiting, Mr. Wright. The evidence that can reveal the identity of the third party is this. I, oh, I, I <laughs> no, no, not over there. 
Oh, man. This one. This one right here. Three days before the purification rite, the victim received a warning letter from an unidentified individual. This cannot not be related <laughs> to this crime. He did? Why didn't the police come up with this? Whoever sent it clearly meant to threaten the high priest. Well, because, because his wife hit it, remember? Ah, oh, that's right. The letter said, do not perform the rite. But the rite went on as scheduled. I believe that is why the high priest was murdered. Who do you suppose sent that letter? A person with something to hide. The rebel hunter disguised as Lady Kira herself. Polkunka. That's what I was thinking. Peace! Love and peace! Oh wait, that's something else. I, I, I don't understand. I had heard the Lady Kira that has been in the news of late only hunted rebels. You should always be suspicious of this stuff. If so, why would she have killed the high priest? Oh. I mean, it's true. It's, it is also possible that the rebel hunter only does hunt rebels. Yes. Yeah, yeah. An excellent question. Maybe it would help to think of it this way. What if the high priest had secretly been a rebel? The high priest! He couldn't possibly have been a rebel. Oh, I've always really liked this music. Oh, it's pretty good. The high priest, a devout follower of Krianism, a rebel? That's insane. Do you even comprehend the blasphemy of which you speak? Well, do you? I, too, found it hard to believe at first. But as I continued my investigation, it started to become more and more plausible. Yeah, we've been talking about it for some time. The third party was the rebel hunting Lady Kira, and the high priest was a rebel? Please don't throw those at my head. Your mockery of Kurianism, no. Of the kingdom of Kurian itself knows no bounds! Uh-oh. That shameless Polkukan lawyer! He's making a mockery of our religion! Burn him at the stake and throw him off the cliff! What? As a faithful Kurianist, I take issue with these claims. And I am loath to admit them into today's proceedings. Hey, I remember saying before, I'm sure that the abbot was indeed an extremely devout Kurianist. I bet he loved the royal family. I bet he, he was loyal and traditional, but there's something that he doesn't like. I think yes. the rebels are scumbags, but that, they're- From what we've been told about them. Well, now, it doesn't help that Dirk, like I said, looks like a fighting and, boss character. Yeah, it's a fighting game enemy or like a beat em up boss character and did assassinate the previous queen or is accused, we of it, is accused of it. Even yeah. if, so I, I'm willing to believe that the rebels are scumbags, but maybe they're not. Maybe not but, all of them. But there is definitely something More. rotten in this country. Yes. And that is what I'm saying. I bet that's what why the abbot might have had some connections to the rebels. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he may not have been a rebel, but might still feel compassion to help them. Well, had some sympathies because yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm expecting anyway. I don't like where this is going. The defense's claims are but vile blasphemy, tantamount to spitting on the Holy Mother. But I have evidence. <laughs> is it really that big of a deal, Maya? Abbot Enmi was a distinguished monk and very well respected too, so yeah, it's a pretty big deal. <sighs> Please don't let this turn into an international incident. Well, let's find out if it's true first! Doesn't that matter? But fear not, good people of Kurayin. The rantings of this putrid brain lawyer who seeks to sully the soul of the deceased shall come to no avail once I conclude these last rites. Y yes? The prosecution's assertion that the accused killed the victim remains unchanged. Okay? The victim was stabbed in his abdomen. How is that possible when he had his back turned towards Miss Faye? Someone else must have killed him. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. You may have invalidated the seance, but do not let it go to your putrid head. Well, doing the impossible twice is pretty good. The karmic flow of this trial is as yet still in my hands. 
How can he be so confident? <laughs> Something has occurred to me, you see. And your allegations of a third party are but a deluded fantasy. And I shall prove that by calling a new witness to the stand. Probably Zealot. An eyewitness who will deliver a definitive answer that will dispel the defense's doubts. That was for you, Billy. Thank you. A an eyewitness? Oh, you're going to tell me it's that monk who, who's, ne who's supposed to have never raised his head. I suppose it could also be believe in me. Maybelieve. Maybelieve? Maybe Lee she's born with it. Maybe it's <laughs> Maybelieve. Very well. Let us call this eyewitness to the stand. Maybe it's the amnesia, amnesiac guy. It is. By the way, thanks. That's a rebel. An awfully, <laughs> an awfully inconvenient family. Oh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Thanks, thanks for giving us that, guys. Uh, it's him again. Well, now. He has to be the shaggiest witness I have ever laid eyes on. Man, he has to be the most unfortunately named person. I had no choice but to be a rebel. My entire family's been branded a rebel. Everyone's always going to assume that they're rebels. I mean, my father, I'm a rebel. My grandfather, I was a rebel. My mother, she's a rebel. It's just, I can't escape it. And my two kids, gonna be and surely. <laughs> Please state your name and occupation. Uh. Oh, um, I'm, you know, that so-and-so, what can we call it, then? Never to what? <laughs> Who? Who do you Dog form! Pegasus, do you say dog? Anonymous TBD. Yeah. At least, that's what they've been calling me. Anonymous BD. To be determined. Okay, okay, well, I was... Sad I didn't call the amnesiac, but you know. You were close. TBD, as in to be determined? Can't you just tell us your real name? I'd love to! The witness has suffered a blow to the head, rendering him amnesiac. Therefore, I named him Anonymous <laughs> TBD in my report. But <laughs> he thinks TBD is part of his name. Objection. You can't seriously expect us. Yeah, you're letting an amnesiac testify? Have no fear. I have already questioned him at length. He remembers this part. <laughs> While it is true, he has utterly forgotten his name and past. And how he clogged his head parachuting. And where he obtained all the lizards in his pocket. <laughs> his memory of what he witnessed is still very much intact. And he witnessed it! While he was falling down <laughs> from the cliffs! Hmm, <laughs> considering the Darth... Darth. Considering the... of information, any new knowledge may be of help. It means there isn't any, Billy! <laughs> Therefore, I will permit his testimony. Now, Mr. Imus, please tell us what you saw. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> that night, I was up at the top of Mount Pony Pony, the mountain next to the inner sanctum. I hate crowds, so I climbed up there to pray in peace. I know it's a no-no, but since there was no one around, I used my binoculars to spy on the right at the inner sanctum. The one completely concealed by curtains at a higher elevation than you. Well, it's not, not, uh, he said he climbed up. Mount Pony Pony is at a lower elevation. Oh, well, we got that taken care of, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. That's when I saw the accused stab the high priest with a dagger! Maybe he's just faking the amnesia. He, he saw... He, yeah, he, he saw, saw him Lady run, into the, yeah. run into the statue. And he's a rebel, even if he... Whether he's faking it or not... Yeah, yeah. Well, There's okay. no way you saw Miss Face stab the victim with a dagger. I swear I don't know what he's talking about, or don't remember at any rate. There's a lot of that going on right now, isn't there? Who am I? What's going on? Where am I? Nuff, nuff. Who am I? Mount Pony Pony, the beautiful mountain that is also known as the Little Sanctum. As you can see clearly here, 
It must be talking about that smaller mountain from the poster that is at a lower elevation. And oh, look, there's a bunch of curtains. Yeah. Mr. Imus, I was wondering. What can I do you for? The inner sanctum lies at a high elevation where clouds and fog can obscure the view. Are you sure you were able to see what happened from the mountaintop next to it? Wow, it's strange that I'm providing an insight like this, isn't it? Good point! His Majesty raises an excellent question. Well, Mr. Imus? On the day of a right, there wasn't a cloud in the sky. I had a perfect view. If you don't believe me, check the weather forecast in the paper that day. Nick, don't we have the newspaper for that day? Y yeah, well, uh, let's take a look. Well, I mean, that's true. Hmm, it does say calm, clear skies, doesn't it? See? Told you so! <laughs> that is quite an excellent laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would appear the witness has offered testimony worth hearing. Mr. Imus, I too have a question for you. Oh? Didn't he already question the witness? Well, that's what I'm here for, right? Shoot! Bang! <laughs> How was the accused holding the dagger? Was she holding it underhanded, its blade protruding from the bottom of her hand? That's a leading question! Yeah! Yep, I believe she was! It's called a reverse grip! Don't ask me why I know how to hold a dagger! Ah, oh, I thought as much. Hold it right there! Like David said, that's a leading question. What bearing does that have on this case? Well, it's like reverse grip around and pow in the abdomen. I guess. Cease your interruptions, you putrid-headed lawyer. <sighs> if I had a dime for every time someone told me that, I'd be rich. Do you not see the significance in how the blade was held? You too, we squared. Screw you! <laughs> Why don't you enlighten me, oh enlightened one? Honestly, you people don't know how to knife others to death. No, I don't! <laughs> I knew you were a fool. I can already picture you in your next life. Oh man, he's insulting me in the future. Next life? Yes, after your soul writhes for centuries in the pits of hell. You shall be reborn as a witless sea urchin with barbs limited to your posterior. I was thinking sea cucumber, but... Ah, well... You shall live a short, inconsequential life, only to be brutally devoured by a sea otter. That was a bit excessive. I simply asked what the dagger grip had to do with the case. Why do I always suffer all this abuse, right, Apollo? Now pay attention. How the accused held the dagger is of vital importance. With such information, we can infer exactly what actions she took. Peace out! You were saying that the victim was killed while he had his back to the accused. Is that correct? Yeah? As such, the accused's dagger grip tells us something very important. The accused approached the victim from behind, swung her arms up around him, and plunged the dagger deep into his abdomen using a reverse grip. Therefore, the blood splattered the opposite direction all over the wall, because that is how physics work. I have a forensics investigator, so neener, neener, boo, boo. I... but... What about the person he saw? What? That's a load of cockamamie! That's a complete... that's complete garbage! Thus... Mr. Imus's testimony clears up any doubts that might remain. Where'd you get your license? Ho, 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 ho. And it coincides with her benevolence's insights as well, except for what's already been said by the bittersweet gamers. This is a disaster. I thought I'd blown those insights out of the water, but now they're back to haunt me, so now someone else is going to have to give me the information to go on, because I can't think of it myself. Hank! Now then, the defense may cross-examine the witness. All right, time to eat some lizards. Ew. I'd love to try one. They're probably not worth eating unless you can pulverize the bone with your jaw, though. Yeah. 
I like how you just nonchalantly agreed. <laughs> I was up at the top of Mount Pony Pony, the mountain next to the inner sanctum. Holy. Are you sure you're not mistaken, Mr. Imus? Was it really Mount Pony Pony that you climbed? Why are you suspicious of that? I'm sure of Elevation. it. Elevation. It was a really Pony Pony-ish mountain. Don't you have Pony Pony Mountains where you come from? What does that mean? Did I it have a bunch of pastel horses? <laughs> no, I found a heart container piece up there. Now that I think about it, it was a mighty fine view. I hate crowds, so I climbed up there to pray in peace. If you hate crowds, why bother climbing to the top? Couldn't you have just as easily prayed at the bottom of Mount Pony Pony where the crowd is? Wrong, bucko! This is a once a year epic event! I wanted to pray as close to the actual thing as possible! If you're so gung ho about it, why didn't you go pray at the Plaza of Devotion? Like I said, I hate crowds. I wanted to pray in peace! Oh, Holy Mother, why do I only get the annoying ones? Ah, uh, it's your fate. And my burning face demanded that I climb up the mountain closest to the inner sanctum! And instead of praying, keeping my head down for two days, I spied on the events to make sure they were going as I intended. You are so suspicious and totally lying! <laughs> also... I and, mean, and that's not trustworthy either! It's like, haven't we found eight things that are wrong with what he's been saying? Yeah! <laughs> it's like we're doing cinema sins or something. <laughs> I know it's a no-no, but since there was no one around... Since nobody was around, there is nobody who can corroborate your actions either. By design! Hee-ho! Jack Frost? <laughs> <laughs> You're exactly right! In that case, Mr. Innes, let me ask you this. Was there a reason you didn't want to be seen? <laughs> uh, uh, about that, ho, if you get caught climbing the surrounding mountains on the day of the right, ho, you can get in big, big trouble, ho! ho! All the hoes? That's it? Well, you called me Jack Frost, didn't you? Yeah, it's totally embarrassing getting yelled at when you're a grown-up. You cannot possibly act like that and expect otherwise. <laughs> yeah, you're a real grown-up, all right. Man, since nobody was around, I lost all inhibition and... Uh, I don't want to hear how you pray. Hee-ho! I used my binoculars to spy on the right at the inner sanctum. You had a pair of binoculars with no you! No binoculars! That, that's pretty convenient. You weren't planning to spy on the right all along, were you? Actually, I just happened to have him for bird watching. Bird watching, huh? I see. You're not going to keep pressing him on this? Oh, don't worry, Maya. He's sketchy as heck, but I don't really have anything I can really sink my teeth into yet. I give me about two minutes. Yeah. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> I love a great outdoors. That's just the kind of guy I am, ho! A guy called Anonymous TBD! I'm gonna be kind of sad if he's the killer. He's so awesome. I know, me too! Uh, I don't think he is, though. He's really starting to get on my nerves. As I looked through my binoculars, I couldn't believe what was unfolding before me. Do you even have eyes under your hair? That's when I saw the accused stab the high priest with a dagger! Did you really see what you say you saw? Are you saying... You know, that was some pretty impressive alliteration, ho! <laughs> Are you uh, saying I'm lying about this? Well, I'm not! It's etched permanently in this hairy old noggin! I guess there's room. <laughs> but I didn't do what you say I did! I didn't even get a chance to touch the dagger on the day of the right, though I guess I do know about reverse grips and knifing people because I watch a lot of Tokusatsu shows. Maya? Well, what do I know about that? All I know is what I saw. I've never even seen you before in my life. What possible reason could I have to lie? You just admitted to never having seen her before in your life. I mean... That's not what he meant. <laughs> I didn't expect there to be any witnesses way up there, because there aren't. But, but I, I don't remember doing that at all. Maya, calm down. 
I know. I have a feeling the witness is lying. There has to be an inconsistency somewhere in this testimony. I should take another look at the court record. Uh-huh. Or maybe that image we were already shown. So this is the inconsistency well, here. Let's look through one more time. I believe you're correct. Yeah, so it's that one. It's this one, and we have to present the graph. Or Not the, the graph, thing. but the thingy that says that there are curtains. How about the ritual curtain itself? Yes, that seems good. I was gonna, gonna I was say gonna the say diagram. The thing, but uh, about this, buddy. Objection. So, uh, your Majesty, I had my doubts about this bushy-bearded uh bow, but I know we can't trust him. I'm now. not going on a date with you. What? You ain't just judging me solely on my bow, dangerous beard, are you, ho? I should have said, buddy. Dang. Not at all, Mr. Emmis. It's much more than your sketchy appearance. It's your sketchy testimony. His testimony, you say? How else am I gonna contradict him? <laughs> yes, recall how the inner sanctum was that day. Specifically, that it was completely enclosed by the ritual curtain. Why, yes, I believe you're right. The curtain would have completely blocked the witness's view from Mount Pony Pony unless he was at a higher elevation, which is probably going to come up here in a second. Yeah, I hear it a little bit. Therefore, he couldn't possibly have seen the murder happen. Ooh hoo ha! Got you all in check. Oh, sorry, Mr. Imbus, have you been knowingly making false statements to this court was and that lab bust, references? Was that Busta Rhymes? Don't judge me. Ah, uh, um, well. Uh, Why are you still looking at me? I was whistling. Doesn't that mean you're supposed to stop? Aye! You got me! The witness will lower his voice. Aye, you got me. I didn't actually see the accused herself. Or anything. He didn't actually see the accused herself. What's that supposed to mean? Let me set the record straight. I beg of you. I just want my five moments of fame. Five moments of fame? Not four, that's not enough, and six is asking for too many. Well, I didn't say five minutes of fame, which is what the actual thing is. <laughs> the night of the murder amended. I saw their shadowy silhouettes projected against the ritual curtain. The figures were created by the light of the full moon on that clear and still night. He was just a shadow, but I could tell it was the accused reverse gripping that dagger. That is bullcrap! I love it when they start doing these... Shadows? That sounds so familiar, Apollo. That's what you saw? Hee-ho! Jack Frost, he's a shadow, right? <laughs> I could see what was going on by the shadows projected onto the ritual curtain. In the future, Mr. Imbus, I would rather you offer up accurate testimony from the start. Oh, I'm sorry. I've suffered a terrible head blow and don't remember anything. You're about to suffer another one. Forgive me, my main man, Mr. Magistri. Chalk it up to my fuzzy wuzzy memory. Please stop. Though he saw but shadows, it is still valuable testimony. Oh, sh <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> you have to be kidding me. International prosecutor, my unspiky bum. No, actually, you're going to be reborn as someone with a spiky posterior. I don't trust a thing he says. What are you going to do now, Nick? Uh, all I can think of is to punch holes in that flimsy ass. <laughs> I mean, come on. To look for inconsistencies between the actual right and what Mr. Emma says he saw. Nick. Now then, the defense may cross-examine the witness once more. You know the drill. I don't have to say anything. Oh my god, this is the dumbest, <laughs> this is the dumbest one yet. I saw their shadowy silhouettes projected against the ritual curtain. So what you saw were simply shadows? I'm not even doing it on purpose this time. That's right. Those shadow figures on that bright white curtain, they showed through plain as day. I could see everything that happened. But Miss Faye and Abbott in me were at the top of a mountain, late at night. The only light up there was coming from four small lanterns, and they were in the middle of them. How could the shadows have been projected that clearly onto the curtain? 
No wonder people harp on you lawyers. Oh, you're always so dang skeptical. That's the point! The lanterns weren't the only sources of light, you know? Huh? The figures were created by the right of the full moon on that clear and still night. Clear and still night. Well, it's a cold front, see? Oh! I might be wrong anyway. You claim to have seen shadowy figures that were projected onto the ritual curtain. Did you really see them, Mr. Emmeth? Of course I did! The bright moonlight projected them onto that curtain, clear as day. It was like watching a scene out of a horror movie from my front row seat on Mount Pony Pony. Hmm, I think this is the one we're supposed to... I guess the moon does shine a bit brighter when you're way up there. Maya, do you recall how bright the moon was that night? It sure as heck didn't show up in the inside, did it? Um, I remember there weren't any clouds and that the moon was definitely out. But I don't remember if it could cast any shadows. Okay, thanks. You can't deny that the moon was really bright. Which means it's possible that it was bright enough to cause shadows to appear. I remember it just like it happened! You'll pardon me if I can't trust your memory. She was just a shadow, but I could tell it was the accused for first ripping that dagger! Hang on! How do you know it was Miss Fay if all you saw were shadows? It was that little bun on top of her head! Didn't need to see her face. That distinctive bomb's a dead giveaway. Never underestimate my keen sense of observation. Can't you tell by looking at my eyes? Uh-huh. Now that's one funny haircut. <laughs> it's not nice to make fun of a girl's hairstyle. And don't call her a hoe. I like my hair this way. Besides, you're one to talk, you Sasquatch. Ooh, good comeback. You're not into this wild, manly look I'm sporting? He certainly is. It's consumed him. <laughs> Shows what you know, little girl. <laughs> Nick, isn't there some kind of a crime you can charge him with, Les Maeste? <laughs> uh, I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Why not? Now he claims he only saw shadows. This testimony has sketchy written all over it. Huh? Huh? Guys? Guys? And there must be an inconsistency in there somewhere. <sighs> There's so many statements, it'll take us forever to sort through them. Yeah, you're right. Is he really watching everything from Mount Pony Pony? If so, then I should see how his testimony lines up with the conditions of the right. Isn't it great that I tell you guys what you're all looking for? Right, but it's never... In some games, it's been really bad. But, I mean, there's still the elevation issue. There is the elevation, but also, if the moonlight, if the moon was on the other side, the mountain would block it! Yeah, but Maya saw the moon, so that wasn't the case. She just knew that the moon was out. The angle of the light is what I'm talking about. Well, we don't have anything that says anything about the angle of it. Ah, you're right, you're right. Okay, hold on. Challenging him on the When river. the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Aha, Pony, that's right. That's what, so there from you his go. angle, from his angle, he shouldn't see any shadows. So this has to be it. I knew there was, this is what I was talking about. This, the thing that showed the full moon in relation to everything. Because ah, okay. there's Mount Pony Pony. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That's got to be it. Woo! So this one. So it was, a, I mean, he says it's the light of a full moon, and it shows the full moon over there. But it would would have been above him. The light, the shadows would have been projected on the opposite side where he can't see. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what you were talking about necessarily. Okay, let me make sure that's the right one. All right, buddy. Objection. Take that. You saw silhouettes projected by the moonlight? Sorry, but that's just not possible. Well, what do you mean? How is it not possible that it was totally possible? That's impossible! Those are my words. I think I'm going to need a logicalese translation on that. Unpossible! Let's take a look at this rights guide, shall we, Mr. Emmis? Do we have to? Oh, yeah. The right is held when the moon is directly over the summit of Mount Pony Pony. <laughs> so if the moon was shining from the west... Any shadows would have been cast eastward. 
<laughs> Thank you for that reference. I appreciated that. But Mr. Imbus was standing to the west of the inner sanctum on Mount Pony Pony. What? Were you talking to me? I couldn't hear you over my singing. Oh, holy mother. That's right. Our witness here couldn't have seen any shadowy figures on that curtain. No, 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 no. No way! <laughs> Perhaps it was the sacred flames of the lanterns that cast the shadows he saw? Your Honor, we just dealt with this. I'm afraid not. I inspected them during my investigation, but the flames were too small to cast the crisp, distinct figures Mr. Emmis claims to have seen, and they were in the middle of them! But oh, I did see those silhouettes with my really good eyes! But how could he, Nick? Maybe he was someplace where they were visible? You know, that is where we found the parachute on the opposite side. What about that? What do you mean that that's a rebel parachuted in from the prison? Wait, don't tell me. It was like when you made... No, and I've done it too. We've both made one-off jokes <laughs> in other LPs really early on uh -huh. that actually have been exactly the case. And that was, you know, when I... It was like har har paratroop or para dropping and you know your majesty if mr emmis really did see it, if mr emmis really did see those shadows it brings a brand new fact to light <laughs> and that would be oh this is so exciting the brand new fact that comes to light if mr emmis really did see those shadows is he was, was somewhere, somewhere else, else. <laughs> he wasn't where he claimed to be at the time of the murder Oh, then where do you propose the witness was? Some place where he could have seen the shadow figures, naturally. Wait, you mean... None of the mountains east of the Inner Sanctum are close enough for a good view. That leaves only one place he could have clearly seen the shadows from. And where might that be? Man, they just keep making us pull stuff up. This is where Mr. Innes was at the time of the murder. The Inner Sanctum! Was that true? Yep. Oh, Mr. it was on the Innes other side was, of the Sanctum, right. Yeah, Mr. Innes was at the Inner Sanctum, just outside the curtain on the east side. That's the only place from which he could have seen the shadowy figures. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Got you all in check. I got the head. Nothing that make you break your neck. Really? Wow, I didn't even think of that. But wasn't the inner sanctum off limits to all but the victim and the accused? Well, he already said that he could get in trouble for climbing Mount Pony Pony. Well, he's going to get in more trouble for barging in on the inner sanctum. And the third party who was there, you mean? I get the feeling that's a subject Prosecutor Saad Mahdi would rather not touch right now. Huh. Oh! You mean? That's right. This witness was at the scene of the crime. Which means he is the mysterious third party we saw during the divination seance. He could be the one who dressed as Lady Kira and killed the high priest. Oh no, it wasn't me that did that! Gugger! What? I said Gugger! Oh, okay, thank you. The stenographer had to pay attention. No one but the two participants were allowed anywhere near the inner sanctum. You're right, Nayuda, because that's what criminals do. Follow the rules. And the only way up there are the stairs that start down at the Plaza of Devotion. That no one was looking at. So tell me, how do you propose the witness entered that sacred space? Oh, um, he must have. Uh, I haven't gotten that far yet. Uh, yeah, we got that far first. The Sanctum has sheer cliffs on three sides and a steep towering rock face on the other. No one could have made it there by climbing the faces of those cliffs. His Majesty speaks true. To say Mr. Emmis was at such an inaccessible location is but a bid to tarnish his credibility. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, actually. He isn't very credible, honestly. <laughs> Is that not right? Look at this credible, upstanding man! <laughs> right! I wasn't at the inner sanctum, no sir, no how! <laughs> but the, but, but the, the moon! 
The moon! That proves he had to have been there, or he's lying about the rest of it, Mr. Sodmati. Oh, that's Which just one some, are you gonna throw out? Some lawyerly, little, small little contradiction. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure I wasn't there anyway. I, I, maybe I guess I could have been. Then what about those silhouettes you claim to have seen, like Billy just said? Well, I'm starting to think I've been imagining things. Then your testimony is invalid. Get out of this court. <laughs> This is insane! Throw this guy out, dang it! I knew we couldn't trust that lawyer. It's not the lawyer's fault this time! He's trying to frame the untrustworthy witness. Th the prosecutor is leading the untrustworthy witness! Peace! Peace, I say! He's but such he a is. good leader! This is impossible. Unless I can show how he got to the inner sanctum, yeah. which I can. It just looks like I'm trying to slander Mr. Imus. I believe in you, Nick. Even though none of that disproved anything I've said. Rah, rah, sis, boom, ba. Fight, fight, Phoenix, right. Oh, hey, thank you, Maya. Yeah, I could have done better, though. Just look at the accused. Has she no shame? What's your problem, lady? Phoenix Wright is very trustworthy, I'll have you know. You want to fight about it? She's got some nerve for a criminal. I bet that lawyer poisoned her mind. Please, Maya, you're only making it worse. Yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah. So it is nice having someone on my side. Yeah. I appreciate the vote of confidence, easy girl. But it's probably best to keep it to yourself for now. I'll hold back my mad skills for now then, Nick. I would advise the defense to think carefully before making any more sudden outbursts. Yeah, yes, your majesty. Sorry, Nick. If I wasn't the bad guy before, I definitely am now. But I was before, so... Now, Mr. Rimus. I would like you to think back carefully before you testify next about where you were that night. This looks like the perfect place to stop! I agree! <laughs> ho! Hee ho! Hee ho! Hee ho! Yeah. <laughs>